हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू कॉन्सेप्ट ऑनलाइन क्लासेस सो स्टूडेंट्स वी वर स्टडिंग अबाउट एसिड बेसिस एंड सॉल्ट एंड वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द एसिड बेसिस इन आर फर्स्ट पार्ट देयर फिजिकल एंड केमिकल प्रॉपर्टीज एंड इन सेकंड पार्ट वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट द पीएच स्केल एंड इंडिकेटर्स एंड नाउ इन आर थर्ड पार्ट दैट इज आर लास्ट पार्ट we are studying about the some common compounds of salt some common salts or uh, some com common compounds of salt so our first common compound of uh, salt is your common salt now we uh, all know that what is common salt it is also known as your table salt or kitchen salt and uh, it is chemically common salt is the your sodium chloride with formula NaCl and it is the called as table salt because it is an important food material it is a, your essential food components and however the table salt that we use in our food material is not pure it is a mixture because sodium chloride is not pure but it contains some amount of potassium iodide also so your table salt is a mixture it is a common salt it is a mixture and uh, common salt occurs naturally in sea water as uh, rock salt sea water contains several salts along with sodium chlorides so sodium chloride is your essential constituent of our food and it is used as food material it is also used in freezing mixtures and it is used for salting out action of soap in soap making or soap manufacture it is also used in soap manufacture and as a preservatives for pickle meat fish etc so and your common salt is used as a raw material for the production of other food for other chemicals like baking soda washing soda uh, caustic soda or uh, your bleaching powder so one by one we will be studying about these common compounds also so the next one is your caustic soda now what is caustic soda the caustic soda it is commonly known as sodium hydroxide its its formula is uh, naoh and uh, sodium hydroxide is prepared by the electrolysis of concentrated aqueous solution of sodium chloride and the process is uh, known as chloralkali process the reaction is given below that how the sodium hydroxide is prepared it is manufactured by the electrolysis of aqueous solution uh, which is called uh, brine and the method is called uh, chloralkali process because because it gives chlorine and alkali the nawh hydrogen and chlorine are obtained as by product as you can see in the reaction when nacl is reacting with water it gives nawh that is your sodium hydroxide and chlorine and hydrogen are the by products they can be obtained to produce hcl gas which can be dissolved in water to produce hydrochloric acid so now its uses it is used in manufacturing of soap paper and in the refining of petroleum and vegetable oil it is used as a laboratory reagent in and in purification purification of uh, bauxite ore which is a ore of aluminium after this the next compound comes to be the baking soda now what is baking soda it is commonly used in kitchen it is uh, its chemical name is sodium hydrogen carbonate and its formula is nhco3 so carbon dioxide and ammonia are passed through the cold and concentrated solution of sodium chloride to give the sodium hydrogen carbonate 
and its process is known as solve process so the reaction is given below the reaction says that nacl is reacting with water carbon dioxide and ammonia and these gases are passed so the product form will be your sodium hydrogen carbonate and ammonium chloride this whole process is known as this whole process is known as solve process and uh, its properties are that it is a white crystalline solid and uh, it is stable in air it is sprangly soluble in water and on heating it decomposes to give sodium carbonate and carbon dioxide it reacts with acid with uh, effervescence uh, to give out the carbon dioxide gas so its uses are it is used in uh, medicine as a mild antiseptic for skin infections it is used in fire extinguisher because of co2 and uh, it is uh, an important ingredient of antacids antacids due to its alkaline in nature because it neutralizes the excess acid produced in our stomach and it prevents the acidity so in making the effervescent drinks such as beer or coke which uh, which have the co2 gas in them so baking soda is used in so many things in making of your cake or uh, bread and to make the food stuff fluffy we because the cakes and breads are little fluffy we all know that so baking soda is the baking powder or baking soda we can say that it is used for preparing your fluffy food stuff like cake bread etc okay now after this your next compound that is washing soda what is washing soda uh, washing soda is your sodium carbonate decahydrate its formula is na2co3 dot 10h2o so dot means it is multiplying so it is chemically known as sodium carbonate or a hydrated salt and its correct chemical name is sodium carbonate decahydrate so water is its essential component like uh, water is making it make uh, it is hydrated salt so huge amount of water is used so baking soda on heating it liberates co2 and gives carbonate so the reaction given below shows that it is been made through what to your baking soda it is been obtained from baking soda only so baking soda when it decomposes it gives na2co3 that is your sodium carbonate and water plus carbon dioxide and when you add uh, water to it 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 gives you sodium carbonate decahydrate that is your washing soda now what are its properties it is a transparent crystalline solid with a formula of uh, na2co3 dot 10h2o and uh, in exposure to air it decomposes to form monohydrate which is a white powder and uh, its aqueous solution in water is alkaline it is basic so on heating it forms uh, anhydrous na2co3 that is sodium carbonate because its water its essential component is evaporated so it reacts with acid to evolve co2 gas it is used in uh, laundries for removing uh, permanent hardness hardness of water in manufacturing of glass so papers and it is used in laboratories reagent also in paper and textile and paint industries and in petroleum refineries these salts have many uses and these are used in our everyday life so the last uh, salt is your 
ब्लीचिंग पाउडर वॉट इज ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इट इज केमिकली नोन एज कैल्शियम ऑक्सी क्लोराइड इट्स एंड इट इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज कैल्शियम क्लोरो हाइपो क्लोराइड सो ब्लीचिंग पाउडर इज मैन्युफैक्चर्ड बाय प्लास पासिंग क्लोरीन गैस इन ड्राइज स्लेक्ट लाइन सॉरी इट इज रिटर्न टाइम सो यू कैन करेक्ट इट द रिएक्शन इज दैट कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड कैल्शियम हाइड्रोक्साइड विद क्लोरीन गिव्स यू कैल्शियम ऑक्सी क्लोराइड एंड वॉटर सो इट्स प्रॉपर्टीज आर दैट इट इज अ येलोइश वाइट पाउडर एंड वेन एक्सपोज टू एयर इट रिएक्ट्स विद सी ओ टू एंड द एयर टू लिबरेट द क्लोरीन गैस इट इज सोल्यूबल इन कोल्ड वाटर एंड द मिल्कीनेस ऑफ द सोल्यूशन इज ड्यू टू द प्रेजेंस ऑफ अनरिएक्टेड लाइन इट इज इट इज लाइक when it they are mix when chlorine is pass it is seen like it is a milky product milkish product like white insoluble uh, solvent or solute is there so the react it reacts with the hydrogen chloride and sulfuric acid to liberate the chlorine gas its uses are bleaching powder as we all know that for bleaching cotton in textile industries and wood pulp in paper industries for disinfecting the drinking water and as an oxidizing agent and in manufacturing of chloroform so for making unshrinkable wool so there are many uses of bleaching powder the main use is for bleaching of clothes and to disinfect the water so the next uh, common compound is your plaster of paris it's not salt but uh, it is mainly used so it is it is there in your syllabus so what is plaster of paris it is chemically known as hemihydrate and of hemihydrate of calcium sulfate so plaster of paris is prepared by the partial dehydration of gypsum on heating to 100 degrees celsius not more than that that is 373 kelvin now what is gypsum gypsum is the calcium sulfate it is uh, the gypsum name was given through because it was found in paris so the name plaster of paris was given to the compound to this compound because for the first time it was made from gypsum which is uh, which was mainly found in paris so plaster of paris or the short form pop is uh, containing half molecule of water of crystallization it is uh, represented by the formula caaso4. dot half as to half molecule of uh, water of crystallization means that uh, one water molecule is shared by the two formula units of caso4 hence we also represent its formula as caso4 whole twice dot h2o so its preparation is uh, it is prepared by gypsum which is a calcium sulfate dihydrate and gypsum is heated in a kin to a temperature of 100 degrees celsius so at this temperature it loses 3/4 of water 3/4 of its water of crystallization and it forms plaster of paris so the temperature is uh, not allowed to raise beyond 100 degrees celsius otherwise the whole water will be lost and producing the anhydrous calcium sulfate so to make the plaster of paris you need to give a moderate heat supply now its properties are it is a white powder 
it is uh, used in building industries and making blackboard chalks for making designs in ceilings and walls okay so these were your compounds and uh, i hope you like it if you have any doubt uh, please comment below and uh, please like our fb page and follow our youtube channel for more such videos you can also buy these videos from in our app you can use our app also there is a concept app so thank you